so we're almost at the end of 2020, thank goodness. But there's still a few 4K Blu-ray releases left on the calendar, so stick around to hear about the five that I am most excited for. Hello there, my name's Elliot and this channel is all about collecting Blu-rays. So I've got five 4K Blu-rays to talk about today. I'm very excited for all of them. One of them I do have some doubts about, but I'm still excited nonetheless. I won't beat around the bush too much. So before we get into it, if you want to check out some of my other 4K videos, I will link them in the description below. You can check out one where I run through my top five 4K Blu-rays and I'll link another one about whether 4K is worth it or not. So please do go and check those out if you like this one. So number one on my most anticipated 4K release for the rest of 2020 is, of course, the big one, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which is coming out on December 1st in the US and November 30th here in the UK. I have many reasons to be excited for this one. Nostalgia is a big player, particularly around Christmas time, because I remember being a kid when these came out and they would show every Christmas over the three year period. And I don't know, Lord of the Rings and Christmas are just like intertwined for me. I tend to watch them most Christmases and it's going to be so great to actually watch them on 4K in 2020 because, you know, we've needed it this year. We need to end the year on a high note. Based on some of the info that I've found online, I believe it comes with Dolby Vision HDR. There's a Dolby Atmos track on there along with other tracks. And it's native 4K because the Lord of the Rings trilogy was shot on film. It was shot on 35mm. And this is particularly great because it should look really good on 4K if it's done right. What's pretty good about this compared to some other blockbusters from around the time and then later on is particularly with the first film of the trilogy, it didn't rely too heavily on CGI and visual effects of that type. You know, they used a lot of miniature models. They used a lot of practical effects, a lot of extras. So this could really look great and it probably won't be hampered too much by really dated CGI. Like if you compare that to the Star Wars prequels that were coming out at the same time, they're pretty dated even on the 4K discs just because the CGI does not hold up. Mark your calendar, first week of December, you should be able to get this in your hands and I am so excited. The next film that I'm very excited for is Total Recall. Now this is coming out in the UK on November 23rd, but it's coming out in the US two weeks later on December 8th. Now it's being released by Studio Canal here in the UK, but it's being released by Lionsgate in the US and they have sourced the same restoration as the Studio Canal one. So it's going to look the same, it's just being released by two different companies. Total Recall is one of those sci-fi classics now. It's ingrained into popular culture. It's directed by Paul Verhoeven, who was such a maverick filmmaker, and I hope a lot more of his films are going to come out on 4K Blu-ray. It's of course starring Arnie, who is absolutely himself in this role. So I really, really cannot wait for this movie. Looking at the specs that I could find online, it should have a Dolby Vision HDR, it should have a Dolby Atmos track, so hopefully they will sound and look really, really good. It is native 4K as well because Total Recall was shot on film. So again, fingers crossed this will look amazing and yeah, another one that I'm very excited for. If you're enjoying this video about 4K Blu-rays, please do subscribe down below. It's free to do, just click the button. And I've heard that if you do, it will increase the chances of more great movies coming out on 4K. But don't hold me to that. Anyway, back to the list. So the next 4K release that I can't wait to check out that I've included on my list here is Akira. This is coming out in December on the 22nd in the US but we're getting it in the UK on November 30th. Now, with Akira, I am very cautious about this one because it has already been released in Japan earlier this year, and 
that disc didn't have glowing reviews. Basically, with that 4K release, there was a lot of digital noise reduction, so a lot of removal of the grain that was in the original image, so it looks very unnaturally smooth and it's taken out a lot of detail of the picture. Now don't hold me to this but from the research that I've done it looks like here in the UK and the US we're not getting the original Japanese 2.0 surround track that a lot of people will remember. We're getting this remixed 5.1 track that I think is from one of the Blu-ray releases or from one of the DVDs but anyway this remix uses different sound effects, it uses different parts of the score in different places and from what I've heard from a lot of die-hard fans of Akira it's just not a good track at all so apparently the release we're getting might even be worse than the Japanese one. So yeah I'm including Akira on this list of 4k Blu-rays I'm excited for but I'm actually not very hopeful that it's going to turn out well. So that's a bit of a contradiction, but do let me know what you think about this Akira 4K Blu-ray in the comments below. Number four on this list, coming out on December 1st in the US and November 30th in the UK, is the movie Blade. And yes, Blade is one of the best Marvel superheroes, you can fight me on that. He is just so cool and... I have some real nostalgia for the Blade movies. I remember watching them way before, you know, superhero films really became what they are today. This film is just a lot of fun and there's some really cool action sequences. It's shot really well from what I can remember. So yeah, I'm so excited for Blade on 4K Blu-ray. Taken from some of the information I found online, I believe it's native 4K because I think it was shot on film. I don't think it was digital just yet at that point. It does have a Dolby Atmos track apparently, but with the Dolby Vision, it was listed in the press release notes that it would have Dolby Vision, but then people have looked at the images of the, the back cover and the front cover and there's no mention of Dolby Vision anywhere so that's conflicting so there may actually not be Dolby Vision HDR on this release which would be sad but fingers crossed hopefully it'll turn up but anyway hugely excited for Blade are any of you fans of Blade do you agree that he's one of the best Marvel superheroes let me know in the comments and last on this list is Beverly Hills Cop this is coming out December 1st in the US and November 30th here in the UK and this is one again so excited for I know I've said that for all of these but especially coming up to Christmas for some reason in my family Eddie Murphy movies are like perfect to watch at Christmas time like we watch a lot of Beverly Hills Cop we watch Trading Places uh, Coming to America which is actually also releasing on 4k on the same date as Beverly Hills Cop there was no information online about the audio tracks or the HDR on the disc just yet. Hopefully over the next week or two we'll find out more about this particular release. But I'm really hoping that it's going to be a great one. It was shot on film so hopefully you know, it's going to look great. And I know there have been some other 4K restorations of Eddie Murphy films. I think Trading Places was restored in 4K. So... Hopefully after Beverly Hills Cop and Coming to America, that will surface on a 4K Blu-ray. Maybe next year, who knows. So there you have it, just a quick rundown of five 4K movies that I'm very excited for to finish out 2020. Do let me know if I've missed any particular releases that you're very excited for. Like I know that Arrow Video have a few 4K releases coming up such as Tremors and Crash and I'm, I am excited for those as well. So yeah, if I've missed anything off, just let me know in the comments below. Before we go, I'll just say a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters over at patreon.com forward slash boutique blu-rays my fellini fanatics and also i have not one but two patreon producers now so thank you so much to paul bolzer and jason yeely 
that it means so much to me, the support that you guys are giving me, helping me take this channel further. And I've got lots of big ideas for this channel going forward. So hopefully we can make those dreams a reality. So yeah, go and check out patreon.com forward slash boutique Blu-rays. If you want to stick around on the channel, just click one of the videos on screen right now. I especially recommend my top five 4K Blu-ray video if you haven't watched that one yet. I'll be back very soon, so until then, stay well and keep watching great movies.